Hi mamas, how are you doing? I am Andrea Tran. I am a registered nurse and a lactation consultant and IBCLC and I have a blog Breastfeeding Confidential where I write about all things breastfeeding and I have this YouTube channel where I talk about all things breastfeeding. I also have a Facebook group. Now today I'm going to talk about using the block method of feeding to manage oversupply. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos and let's get right to it. So block feeding is a way to manage oversupply by breastfeeding on one breast for a block of time, for a certain period of time. So let's talk about oversupply. Some people think, how can that possibly be a problem? I mean, having tons of milk, how great would that be? But for moms that deal with oversupply, they know that it can present certain challenges. And primarily, it's going to be a um, fussy baby, a baby that gulps, chokes, and sputters when they're feeding. Um, they may pull off the breast. When they pull off the breast, milk may just spray everywhere. And there's something else that can cause those same symptoms that I'll talk about in a bit. But other things that point to oversupply are a baby who gains weight really rapidly or who is not gaining weight well. And I want to say right here that if your baby is not gaining weight well, you really should be working one-on-one -on -one with a lactation consultant to try to figure out what the reason for that is because it could also be a low supply. Um, other symptoms of oversupply are if your baby has green poops frequently. An occasional green poop is fine, but real frequent ones can be indicative of an oversupply. And other symptoms are a mom who gets repeated plug ducts or repeated cases of mastitis. So primarily the reason for a lot of these problems is because oversupply can cause a four milk, high milk imbalance. And four milk and high milk refers to the amount of fat and water in the milk. So when the baby first starts breastfeeding, they get the four milk, which is high in water content that satisfies their thirst and hydration needs. And then as the breast drains, the fat content increases, which makes them feel satisfied and gives them calories to grow on. So when there's a lot of milk, a lot of times there's the baby is getting more of the four milk. So that's why block feeding can help because block feeding helps reduce the milk supply. And it does that because the, um, the breast that you're not feeding on will accumulate milk and that gives the feedback to your body to make less milk. So if a lot of milk is left in the breast, it tells the body to make less milk. So if you've been feeding on both sides at every feeding or at most feedings, the first thing you would want to do is try feeding on one side at each feeding and alternating sides. And if that fixes your problem, then you're good to go. If it doesn't, then you may have to move on to block feeding, which is where you would feed from one breast for a certain period of time. And then after that period of time, feed from the other breast. Now the amount of time is going to be unique to each mom and once you start feeding on one side per feeding you want to think about how long it is between feedings. So from beginning to feeding to beginning of feeding what period of time is that and then you're going to increase that by about half an hour to an hour to start with. So if your baby is feeding every 90 minutes, then you would increase it to every two to three hours that you would feed just on one side. If your baby is going two to three hours, then you would increase it to about four to five hours. So you're going to have to experiment with that a little bit to figure out what works for you. Um, some moms, you know, I had one mom who she actually had to go for an eight hour block of time on one breast. And that was really an extreme case, but that's what she needed. So start out with, you know, where am I? And then increasing that block of time by a little bit. The other thing that you want to make sure you're doing is keeping an eye on your baby's weight. 
and you also want to be flexible. Say you've decided that your block of time would be four hours, but after, you know, say three hours, your baby is acting really unsatisfied, then go ahead and switch over to the other breast. The block of times can change throughout the day because milk supply tends to fluctuate throughout the day. So just make sure that you're being flexible. You're going to hit your sweet spot when you've got a happy baby who's gaining weight at a normal rate and a happy mom who's not having problems with repeated plug ducts and, and mastitis, things like that. Now I told you I was going to talk about another situation that can cause the symptoms of gulping, choking, sputtering, pulling off. And some moms who have an average supply can have an overactive letdown reflex and that can cause those symptoms in the baby. Now I'm going to show you a technique to help you manage an overactive letdown. This is my baby doll Lolo and I'm going to use her to show you how you can use positioning to help manage that problem. So if you've got her in the cross cradle hold or the cradle hold like this, what you're going to do is just lean back a little bit when your milk lets down, so when she's first latched on, and you want her head above your breast, so she's coming from above. You can do the football hold, same thing, where she's real upright and just leaning back a little bit, and that will help give her more control over the flow of the milk. So if you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Check out my blog because I do have a couple blog posts. One is elaborating more on the block feeding and the other one is other ways to reduce your milk supply. So check it out and join my Facebook group if you want to have that kind of support. It's a Facebook group that I facilitate so you get the help of a lactation consultant. And I'll see you next time, mamas.